Hello everyone and welcome back to Austin Talks where today we are doing our weekly ga uh, gaming, no this is not Austin Plays, weekly production and movies news video. And we've got some interesting ones to the, uh, this uh, this week, we've not got a lot, I will admit, but we've got some interesting ones and that's what makes these videos uh, possible and interesting to some extent. Um, so without further ado, um, I'm not going to ramble on for too much, I think we should just get right into it. With the first one being, okay, yeah, a what if Star Wars series has been confirmed or in the talks, There's, it's still in the mix, still. Now what if season 1 and 2 were very successful and now parts of Disney are actually now chiming in? somehow uh now there's there's an idea that this is um likely to happen that uh star wars is getting it like its own interpretation of what of a what if series now personally now there's there's two ways to go about this i don't think this is necessary since we do have the tales of the jedi series where anything can be changed into different aspects but the Tales of the Jedi series could happen. Uh, well, um, season 2, season 3, it could go on for many seasons. And that already makes sense. It is curious to think about scenarios in the Star Wars universe and if they were different. And it, it is curious to think what other scenarios would be in a, like, a whole different thing. But it isn't necessary. Now, I would like to make myself perfectly clear. This is, to, to the storyline of Star Wars, this isn't necessary. Is it something I would like to watch? Yes, I would like to see Ahsoka become an Inquisitor. I would like Obi-Wan to be, go, be the one that turns into Darth Vader. That would be amazing to watch. I think it would just be pure entertainment. I think this is a good idea. Storyline-wise, doesn't really make any sense. It's not necessary. Um, unless there's something to do with the multiverse, which I'm begging Star Wars, please do not. But honestly, it's um, I, I think it's an okay idea as just a, like a goof, but... Yeah, that's just me. Anyway, that was yeah, yeah. We've got quite a lot of Star Wars news this week. Just saying. Now, a Mandalorian and Grogu uh, movie is happening. So it's actually called The Mandalorian and Grogu. Is and it's a movie that is officially happening. Now, this is exciting for many reasons, but the main reason is we'll actually I will actually get to see Grogu's cute face on a theatrical screen. That is more important than anything. Now, um, it's like, like I, I, I also will get to see it on an even bigger screen than just my TV, which is just so great. Now, I'm be I'm so behind on this idea, uh, but I, I'm so behind this idea, um, because I think this is actually a good idea, because, um, and like I know, and I think I may know what it's about, but I think it'll be a similar t scenario to the Peaky Blinders franchise. So. Obviously, we know season four of The Mandalorian is officially happening, but depending on the plot of that season, this could be the send-off for the show. So, for context, Peaky Blinders are making a movie that is going to end the whole franchise of the Peaky Blinders, because obviously it's like one of the best shows on Netflix. So, and there's a movie coming out that's going to wrap the whole thing up, Bish Bash Boss, it's done. However... This is going to be the same um, aspect, where season 4 will be released, and then uh, we'll have this movie, which is a send-off. So, this also does tell us when it's going to release, because we don't even know when uh, season 4 of Mandalorian is going to release. This You can expect this in the next 4-5 years. So, this is a perfect idea, if you ask me, but it doesn't have to be, um, that it could be perfect at the end of the day, because, I mean, you can't say no to Baby Yoda's face, it's just not, tr it, you just can't. But I think this is actually a good idea. It makes sense, unlike that What If series. And it's an amazing idea. And um, this promotion, so this image that, you can, that can be seen is actually the promotional image that was shown for it. And it does look pretty good. And I'm actually, I'm, I, I, I know I'm going to have to wait a long time for it, but it's going to be so worth it. I know it's going to be good. And John Favreau is still doing it as well. So yeah. Oh yeah, we have a, forgot about this, we have a new, um, Walking Dead series. Not like we didn't have any, like, we not like we didn't have enough, but anyway. So the Walking, is this one's called The Walking Dead, um, The Ones Who Live. Now, this is purely about Rick and Michonne, um, and this, we got a trailer for it, and it's said to release not that too, not too far away. Now, I get this show one, um, get this show one bit to, uh, to be honest, um, I, I, no, I don't get this show because, I, I mean, I've never watched The Walking Dead. I want to, just never have. But I don't get the whole uh, franchise at all because the plot of the series just seems so confusing because they seem the exact same. People killing or attempting to kill zombies. 
and then people turning on each other. It's just a repetition, isn't it? Now, isn't it is in regard to uh, people who are still living, and this is going to wrap up the whole thing. Apparently, they said the same for Star Wars, and it's not the case now. So, uh, Walking Dead, I, be I bet you now, this is not the end. Um, Rick and Michonne end up in a new world in new in within a new situation. Somehow, and I'm going to presume in the context of the show that it's going to be with zombies. Or people that are dead walking, walking dead. But I don't get it. Now the trailer does actually look amazing. It is like the, the honestly the title card looks sick as well. It looks like Ghost Rider. Um, but the trailer did look good and they did keep a hidden, it's like it hidden quite a while considering this is supposed to be released in a month on the 25th of February, I do believe. Now, it is very well done if you ask me and I do think the Walking Dead franchise is very good at like hiding their, uh, um, like their, uh, like recordings, uh, no, their uh, shows, which I think is actually pretty really good. Now this is go um, and I'm glad this is going to wrap up, or hopefully wrap up, the uh, Walking Dead sh uh, series because I do think these actors do need a break. But the um, but like the Walking Dead, f um, if I if I'm still not watch, just no, not watch the Walking Dead. However, it is on my watch list on Netflix. So and I think it's like the next thing I'm going to watch. So um, this does look good, and and uh, I don't know much about this. I did have to search a lot of this stuff up. It still didn't clear things up. But um, any if any Walking Dead fans, I do hope you enjoy this. Uh, series that comes out within yeah probably about a month from now oh yeah 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 monarch uh, monarch legacy of the monsters season two has um been like basically confirmed um so monarch uh, monarch legacy of the monsters was a very successful project which i'm very glad to hear and from the producers and there are have been very like good comments in regards to the upcoming season that has actually already been confirmed I'm I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Still have not watched it. Um, I told I said uh, I still yeah I still have just not watched it. Now I have a, a friend that was very pleased to hear this, and I made it. I, I made him unhappy when I told him it was still. It's I still haven't watched it, which I still have not, unfortunately. But the series has seemed to do well so far, and based on the context of the universe and this whole like actual franchise, I can see this whole. Like the Monarch, uh, Monarch um, Legacy of the Monsters still uh, running for three seasons because you have such a big uh, like organization being Monarch and you have such a big plot hole that you can literally split it into three. I think this is a perfect idea. This also does depend on the success of the upcoming movie being um, uh, Godzilla X Kong. Now it's good to see that this franchise is uh, still keeping its head held high because there's been so many doubts with this uh, franchise, but it. It's still uh, coming out with bangers like this. It just looks good. I'm just saying that. I know I haven't watched it, but well, um, it looks good, and the next movie is looking just as uh, well, uh, like good. So honestly, I think we are. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch this. I'm hoping to watch this in the next uh, week, cause um, but just like GCSE revision is not fun. Honestly. It, it's so not fun, but I know at the end of the day it will be worth it. But anyway, oh yes, right. Okay, I know I don't use this do, usually do this, but this is the best news of the week. So um, the Big Bang Theory Georgie spin-off series has been confirmed. Now, um, with Sheldon season seven just around the corner, with it's like in two weeks' time. I'm so happy. Um, um, we're like people are wondering what the next Big Bang Theory spin-off series would be since it was confirmed a while ago. But this is not what we uh, would have thought in the slightest. But Georgie Cooper is getting his own series. Yeah, that was a bit um, demonic, but okay. Um, we actually have some context as to what this will be about as uh, well, and it will take place after the events of this upcoming season, and it will be uh, about like Georgie get over, getting over the events of what is happening in uh, Young Sheldon season seven, and building his entire empire. I hope that was a good pun, but I'm not really sure. Uh, this also shows uh, us that then his never-ending list of girlfriends. Which sounds um, bad, but he may have actually finally settled down. Uh, that we don't know, uh, but I'm very excited and I'm glad is um, that it's the character for Georgie because he is very underrated, and we may have the main actor from The Big Bang Theory come back. So this is very much deserved. I'm very excited for it. I can't wait to see um, Georgie get his own series. I think that'll be. I think that'll be epic. So 
Um, and we don't know when this will come out, but it definitely will be after uh, season seven. So definitely, I would say, if depending on uh, development, early twenty twenty five depends. But anyway, Five Nights at Freddy's ha uh, two has its expectations already. Um, now the last movie was an extreme success, very much so. It was an extreme success, and this is actually evident from both of the uh, reviews. Um, like from many of the reviews that have come out and the amount of box office it's made it's made quite a lot and however current leakers and producers are saying that this upcoming sequel is actually to be successful more successful than um they voice the well uh more successful box office wise than uh this movie reaching uh, expecting to make over 300 million dollars that's a successful movie, if you ask me. That's a lot of money. Um, now, the first movie um, was good and it was fascinating, but um, and it was definitely it, it's um, storyline was great. I mean, having Springtrap come in and then like, it was it was such a big surprise. Um, but yeah, I honestly think this is is going to be good. I'm also ex uh, excited to see what happens with this upcoming movie because Five Nights at Freddy's was a good movie. But I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens with this next movie. I hope it makes more. I mean, sequels have such a bad rap, and I get that. Because you, if you set the bar so high for one movie, and then you fail with the second movie, that actually does depreciate your goal so much. And that is... Mm, yeah, that's one concern when it comes to, um, like, sequels. But I'm hoping this will do better. Um, and y you mean... You have so much lore to base off of, so you basically don't really have an excuse to do bad, but uh, you never know. You have to be open to this uh, possibility. I mean, look at Aquaman 2. The first one was awful. The second one was great. I never thought I'd say, I never thought I'd say that about Aquaman 2, but it was such a good movie. Um, but yeah, honestly, well worth it. Oh yeah, oh my god, we're, how are we close at the end already? We're only like 12 minutes in. Okay, well, Shimo, official review, people. I know it's not the greatest um, of, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, like, photos, but <laughs> here you go. Now, by the day, we are getting more details about this Godzilla movie, um, and uh, we are getting more details in regards to this movie, but we had uh, the bigger news when they revealed another main antagonist for this movie, and that would be Shimu. So Shimu will apparently partner up with the Scar King, kind of. Now, as can be seen, it was revealed on the front co of cover of a toy box um, that Shimu, and then this, and this is Shimu, and that his, um, this is not fake, by the way. This is def this is what Shimu will look like. It looks cool, that's for sure. And nothing I haven't seen, but it's nothing I haven't seen before when it comes to the MonsterVerse. But personally, just I don't want to come close to it. It looks like it's. It kind of looks like the same to like a white, uh, like a like grayish, frosty version of uh, Godzilla. Now, according to leaks, Godzilla will fight Shimu. He will get seriously damaged, and then, as you can see in the trailer and the leaked images, he will cocoon up and then become super sane uh, Godzilla. So, um, honestly, I, I, I and I think this may make a perfect match because Shimu just looks powerful, and like if Godzilla had just. I don't know. It just looks just so much more powerful and actually look, uh, arguably a lot cooler. No, but um, yeah, it just definitely looks like he has some serious horsepower. Oh, good God. I don't like this. No, 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 no. Um, Now, Harry Potter. Um, There's a Harry Potter remake series in the talks. Um... Well, as of right now, it's actually already been confirmed. But anyway, the original Harry Potter movies were amazing, and they were actually just classics. Now, and when it comes to the world of cinema, uh, there is obviously many opinions that this, uh, like, but that goes, and this is just going beyond negative. I mean, they are staple. Harry Potter movies are staple in the cinema world of cinema. This is just, oh my god, I have, I don't know how I feel. I, um, nah. I mean, I know Adam Driver's probably not going to pay Professor Snape. If he does, though, I swear, oh my God. Right, Um, this is not confirmed uh, or rumoured. This is actually true. Uh, well, actually, it, it is true now. And there is no official final decision. That has changed. And there, uh, But there is a possible remake for the uh, franchise heading our way. 
Yeah, it's it's happening. Now, the first idea was that they would uh, do a live-action Cursed Child movie. That would have not... That this just that would have not been so bad. This is just worse. Now this is a te- I, okay. This will get backlash because obviously the movies are classics. It I don't okay. Context wise for backlash, this is a terrible idea. However, I do think a new adaptation would make people happy. But I know people are not going to be happy. Now, logically, it will probably a no. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, but the fact is, we are they were considering, which is a worry. I hate that I've said that and then they've actually confirmed that they're doing a remake series. That just... Oi, what? That makes things so much worse. So, so much worse. Um, but, yeah, I guess I'm... <laughs> personally, like I do with anything, just gonna have to suck it up. Harry Potter series is coming, boys. Yeah. Oh, we are already at the end. Okie day. Now, Star Wars Rey solo movie expectations. So, as we know, Rey is getting her own movie. And, um, and there has already been some expectations c- coming in. Now, this is this movie is soon to be coming, unfortunately. And people's expectations of the movie are already flowing in. Now, they are for sure fascinating. That's for sure. And many of which I actually do agree with, though. Um... Now this movie has uh, like must explore the original conflict of the Force, um, like between the light and the dark side, and how it has improved over the fu- like development of the uh, new order, uh, the new Jedi order. I think that's actually a good idea. I don't know about John Boyega um, in his just. I would like John Boyega, Boyega with this new uh, with like a purple lightsaber. I think that'd be cool, but just not in the stormtrooper suit. I think that was weird. Also, not like this franchise hasn't done this enough, but they do need to explore the uh, Skywalker legacy further. I don't understand how this, how that would work, but by restoring the values of the Jedi and not stealing kids to be Jedi, I completely agree with that. I think they should have their choice. Like you can come wor- uh, work with the Jedi if you want from a young age, but if they go say no, back off. Not like no. Okay, you can say no, but you're coming with us. I think that's like that. That's something that should be uh, explored. But the Skywalker legacy doesn't need to be explored. We had nine movies on that, and nine very del- well, six delightful movies. But anyway, um, now it does. It it seems like okay expectations, except for the Skywalker legacy. I think you need to look for a new one. Uh, uh, but it is it is happening, and it should be fine. It looks it seems fine. If these are the expectations that the movie are actually going to follow, it seems fine. But I'm still very skeptical about this movie because the the last three movies were not like something to write home about. But um, yeah, they were they were a bit iffy. Let's just say that. And I can't believe that's the end of week sixteen. Damn. Okay, well that is the end of today's uh, uh, video and that this week's um, news because that was not a lot, if I'm going to be honest, that was not a lot. But anyway, that is the end of today's video, I do hope you all enjoyed and if you did please uh, leave a like and subscribe and comment what else you would like to see on the channel. Without further ado, we've got a what if series coming this week so I hope you all enjoy that as well and some other videos that I hope you will enjoy as well. So without further ado, I do hope you all have a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!